हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल करियर चैट्स विथ आर के एंड वेलकम टू दी अवर प्लेलिस्ट पार्ट सेवन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दी सीनियरियोज इन दिस पार्ट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल कनेक्ट अवर डेटा सोर्स एंड फॉर दैट वी विल यूज अवर सैम्पल सुपर स्टोर डेटा दैट आर ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन टैब्लू डेस्कटॉप so let's start with our first scenario that is we want to find second order date for each customer so to find second order date take customer name okay and let's take the order date and make this order date exact date and discrete okay and discrete so after this now we need to find the second order date for each customer like if you see here the second order date for aaron is 73 then the second order date for aaron hawkins is 135 okay so likewise we want to find the second order date for each customer so you can find it uh, like there are many ways to find it but we will uh, use last calculation with the help of last uh, we can find this take last apply okay drag this last field that you have created into the rows make it discrete and now the important part that is go on to the edit table calculation then choose specific dimensions that specific dimensions are customer name and order date at the level of customer name sorry at the level of order date and restarting every customer name so let's close this i will explain you once again what we have done here uh, on the last field we have taken the like uh, we have apply the table calculation on specific dimensions the specific dimensions are customer name and order date and we have set the at the level on order date and we want to restart in each and every customer name so that's why we have selected this and now as you can see it will shows us the numbering that is 0 1 2 0 so the first day is 0 and the second order day is 1 so what we want to actually uh, find in this order date this second order date for each customer so the second order date is 1 actually in the last calculation so as you can see wherever we have 1 there is the our second order date for each customer so let's take this last into the filter select this 1 Zero means the first order date. One means second order date because the last function starts with zero. Let's apply OK, and as you can see, you have get each and uh, every customer second order date in the our date data field. Okay, so likewise you can solve this scenario how to find second order date. Uh, I hope you understand this scenario. Let's uh, move to the next scenario. That is create a parameter. to show the country's details which are falling under the user defined profit target filter okay so suppose i have taken the customer name here and for this we need to create one parameter and the parameter is i will name it as country parameter so basically uh, what we want in this scenario i will show you just first create this parameter that is country and region we have a uh, two countries uh, in this uh, data that is canada and united states let's click okay and show this parameter okay so the scenario is simple now this is the like all uh, country uh, customers are here okay but the scenario is when i select united states then i want to see only united states customers and when i select canada 
देन आई वॉन्ट टू सी ओनली कैनडा कंट्री कस्टमर्स ओके सो दिस आर दी मेन कंसर्न इन दिस सीनेरियो सो फॉर दिस जस्ट यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ कंट्री पैरामीटर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एंड यू लाइक इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल प्रोसेस टू क्रिएट अ कंट्री पैरामीटर जस्ट क्रिएट अ कंट्री पैरामीटर आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू क्रिएट वन कैलकुलेटेड फील्ड एंड आई विल नेम इट एज कनेक्ट कंट्री पैरामीटर ओके एंड इन दिस कैलकुलेशन यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक कंट्री रीजन इक्वल टू अवर कंट्री पैरामीटर ओके सो वॉट इट विल डज एक्चुअली वॉट दिस कैलकुलेशन डू इन दिस कैलकुलेशन वी हैव टेकन दी कंट्री रीजन इक्वल टू अवर पैरामीटर सो वॉट एवर फील्ड आई विल सिलेक्ट इन दिस पैरामीटर दिस कैलकुलेशन ओनली शोज दैट कस्टमर्स सो लेट्स टेक दिस इन टू दी फिल्टर प्रेस ट्रू सिलेक्ट दी ट्रू एंड क्लिक ऑन एप्लाय ओके ओके एंड लेट्स टेक दी सेल्स और प्रॉफिट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू शो यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स कस्टमर्स सो एज यू कैन सी इट इज चेंजिंग नाउ इट विल शोज ओनली यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स कस्टमर्स टू अस नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सी कैनडा कंट्री कस्टमर्स सो इट विल शोज दी ओनली कैनडा कंट्री कस्टमर्स टू अस सो दिस इज दी सीनेरियो एंड आई होप यू लाइक दिस सीनेरियो सो इफ यू लाइक दिस सीनेरियो प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर दी चैनल सो इट विल मोटिवेट्स मी टू क्रिएट मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस Let's uh, move to the third scenario. That is uh, highlight above average bar chart in different color and below average line bar chart in different color. So I think we have uh, already like created this uh, scenario, but I will show you once again. So for this, we will take sub category into the column and sales into the our rows. Okay. so now what we had need to do here i want to highlight the bars above average line in different color and below average line in different colors so for that we need to add average line first into the table now i want to highlight this average line below bars in different color and above bars in different color so for that you need to write one calculation field and i will name it as highlight above average line and below average line okay so let's start the calculation that is if sum of sales is equal to window average sum of sales then we want red color okay or we can say then we want uh, like sum of sales uh, we will uh, make it as like continuous field then we want sum of sales else we want window average sum of sales and let's end this calculation so what we have done here if my sum of sales is equal to window average uh, sum of sales then give me a sum of sales else give me window average sum of sales let's apply okay Take this calculation into the rows. Make it a dual axis. So now, as you can see, make it entire view, and from the all, select bar chart. Okay. So it will give the same color to us because our axis is not like synchro synchronized. So let's synchronize the axis, and as you can see, our uh, below average line bars in different color, and above average line bars in different color. okay so that's it in this scenario uh, i have already created this scenario uh, in the previous parts if you want to see the previous parts as well so i will give you the playlist uh, link in the description please check the previous parts as well so let's move to the our last scenario that is find ytd okay so there are the like uh, two ways to find the uh, ytd we can create a boolean field as well and we can create a, a continuous measure field as well so first i will show you uh, the boolean field so for that i will take uh, so we need to find ytd and as you can see in our order date 
we don't have a 2024 year so first we need to add the 2024 in a, our order date so i will name it as a new date date add because we want to add over one year uh, what is so we want to add year in the date part interval we want to add one year in order date okay let's apply and okay now take this new date field make it as quarter month and day so let's remove the uh, day and quarter just take it month okay now we will take the uh, like uh, first boolean field so i will name it as boolean ytd okay and let's uh, create the calculation field that is date diff year comma what is our start date that is order date comma we want to find today is equal to zero and sorry uh, we have used order date here we need to use new date okay new date so it will gives us the sales from today okay so date diff year new date our today and equal to zero and new date is less than equal to date add year comma zero comma today so the calculation is valid let's apply this calculation i will explain you once again we have taken the date diff year our uh, date part is a uh, year start date is new date and end date is today because we want to uh, find the YTD uh, then add new date is less than equal to we have added a zero month because we want to find the latest month sale because latest year sale so that's why let's apply this and ok take this into the filter select true value apply ok as you can see we can get only year to date sale in this boolean field so it will like uh, basically exclude all other years and months and it will gives us only year to date sale in this visualization so likewise you can create a boolean ytd now i will show